Okay, test two, review. Adding, we're going to add our like terms. Remember, dollars plus dollars equals dollars. So x squared plus x squared equal x squared. This is a parenthesis. Minus 6x minus 6x minus 12x. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. Next, we have a subtraction problem. Subtract parentheses means we're going to subtract everything in that second parentheses. You can also think about as distributing a negative one. There's nothing in front of that first one. So all of those things stay the same. 7x5 minus 5x5. Minus 17 minus 14. Those signs are the same, so add, keep. And minus 9 minus 18, same thing. Signs are the same, so add and keep the sign. Multiply 9x to the 6th, the 6 is on the x, okay, so that means 9 times times times, 4x to the 9th means 4 times x times x, keep going, 9 times 4 is 36, there's 6, Plus 9 more is 15. Please excuse my cat who thinks she needs to be helping. All right, so we're going to distribute negative 7 times positive 12 is negative 84. We're going to add our exponents, 7 plus 4. Now a negative times a negative is positive. We're going to add our exponents, 4 plus 3 would be x7. Okay, a negative times a negative is a positive. x4 times x2, 4 plus 2 is 6. For that y, it's an understood 1 plus the other 3 is 4. Okay, a negative divided by a positive is negative. When we divide, we subtract. So 8 minus 3 would leave 5. They would be left over on top because there's more on top. Okay, if we have 8 on top and 3 on bottom, those cancel and there's 5 left over in the top. Okay, 24 divided by 3 is 8. We're going to subtract. 11 is bigger. 11 minus 8 is 3. And since the 11 is on bottom, the leftovers are on bottom. 
there's x to the eighth, x to the eleventh, okay, eight from the top would cancel with eight from the bottom, but there would still be three on the bottom. Okay, we always simplify inside. Y4 over Y1 would be Y3 because 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, that's being raised to the negative 2. That means we flip it and make it a positive 2. You always flip a negative exponent. 1 times 1, and then since we're multiplying, we're going to add those 3's, 3 plus 3. Then we start factoring. make a multiplication problem. Okay, number nine, it says take out the greatest common factor. Five goes into both of those, and they both have x4. They both don't have a y, so there's not a y in common. 5x to the 4 times x squared y would give me 5x6y plus 5x4 times 5 would equal the 25x4. Number 10 is a trinomial because it's got 3. It's an understood 1x squared. So we want to multiply to 8 and add to 6. So that's 4 and 2. Remember, you can FOIL to check. Okay, this is also a trinomial. It's also a 1x squared. So we want to multiply to negative 30 and add to the negative 1. The negative 1 that's understood in front of x. Okay, so that would be positive 5 and minus 6, because 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Okay, this is also a trinomial with the 1x squared. Multiply to negative 80, add to 2. Okay, since we're multiplying to a negative, we want a positive times a negative. If we use 10 minus 8, that would give us positive 2. And 10 times negative 8 is negative 80. You can FOIL to check. Another trinomial with the 1x squared. Multiply to 24. This time we've got positive. We want to add to negative 10. Okay, so we want minus 6, minus 4, because those add to negative 10, and they multiply to positive 24. Okay, 
Now, number 14 is different. It's a trinomial, but it does not have understood one. So I'm going to work this two ways. One way is to use trial and error. That 2x squared has to be 2x times x. Now, I'm going to put the wrong answer. If I look at the 11 now, that's got to be 11 times 1. But this is wrong because the O and the I aren't right. 2x times 1 is 2x. 11 times x is 11x. And that's 13, not 23. So what you have to do is reverse the 11 and 1 and see if that works. Okay, this is going to be right. Let's see why. The 2x times 11 is 22x. 1 times x is 1x. That gives me the 23. Another way to work it is to make it a grouping problem. Okay, a second way to work this you say 2 times 11 is 22 and then you write the ways that multiply to 22 so 2 times 11 22 times 1 now we want what adds to that middle so that's going to be 22 and 1. So we're going to break 23x into 22x plus 1x. The 2x squared and the 11 stay the same. The only thing we're doing this 23x is going to become 22x plus 1x. And those are equal, so it's okay to replace that. Now we do the grouping. The first two have 2x. 2x times x plus 2x times 11 would equal 2x squared and 22x. Bring down that sign. 1x and 11, the only thing they have in common is a 1. And we can use 1 because 1 times anything is itself. Okay, now we make the problem. I've got some x plus 11s. I have 2x plus 1 more of the x plus 11s. Okay, remember, make a multiplication problem. Okay, on 15, this is your binomial because it's 2. It's a difference because it's subtract. And they're squares because they're those special numbers. So 64x squared is 8x. 81 is 9 times 9. To multiply to a negative, positive times a negative. Okay. This is also a trinomial. Or this one is back to being a trinomial. It's a 1x squared. So multiply to 36. Add to 12. That's 6 plus 6. But when it's something times itself, we say squared. Number 17 is prime which means it doesn't make a multiplication problem. It's prime because it's squares with the plus. 
Okay, if you have squares with a plus, it doesn't break down. And that's the end of the review.